Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to the Cultural Classroom. My name is Allison Perryman and I am the founder of the Cultural Classroom. I am a Spanish teacher and I've been teaching Spanish for about 10 years. Um, I have created today a resource for my Spanish peeps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a taste of Mexico based off of the Avancemos uh, one textbook unit on Mexico. And so it is by no means exhaustive. It, exhaustive. it is just an introduction, just meant to pique a student's interest in Mexico and to compare and contrast um, students' native culture to the um, target culture. And so I am just hoping that um, this is just a starter file for teachers. You can use it as is or you can add to it. It's a Google Slides presentation and the base color, the yellow, you can duplicate it and just add to it if you want to. And so anyhow, um, what else? Um, oh my gosh, if you're not following me, please do. Please like, comment, subscribe to my videos. Um, that helps me out a lot on my channel for my videos to be seen and my content to be seen. And um, without further ado, enjoy my mini lesson on Mexico, a taste of Mexico, Mexico lindo. All right, so you'll find this lesson in Teachers Pay Teachers, and it is a um, Pear Deck presentation. And so that means that when you go to present it, you'll have to have Pear Deck. Um, well, you don't have to have it, but um, it would be nice to have Pear Deck enabled in your Google Slides um, so that you, um, can get the full features of this mini presentation. And so what you would do is you would start the lesson from your pair deck here, start lesson, and then your kids would access it. And I have a couple of videos on how to pair deck. And so I will be sure to link them above so that you can kind of get like a mini tutorial on Pear Deck if you're not super familiar with it. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to just present um, this presentation so that you can just get a feel for what's in it. So this is not how I would present it. I would present it as a Pear Deck, which is start lesson. I am going to hit the present button, which is just like the easier option. Present you go move this out the way and I'm gonna get a little bit smaller. So 15 frame. There we go. So um we have the title side a taste of Mexico. Um I did put that as Alantimos one Spanish. If you want to cover that up with a block, um you can. Um if you don't know what that means, just comment below and let me know and I'd be happy to explain what that means. You can cover stuff up with blocks um, that you don't want to be shown. Okay, so next is a Pear Deck question. What do you know about Mexico and authentic Mexican culture? And so students would type in the text response boxes um, either on their cell phones or their computers. Um, in answer to this question. Um, you can prep them by saying please type appropriate answers um, because when I wrote this I kind of envisioned um, that there might be like one kid who typed something inappropriate but I couldn't think of what that inappropriate thing could be so I left the question as is but you can prep your students by saying you like, oh, please type appropriate answers, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can discuss what those things are. So it's kind of priming that tar that, pr that prior knowledge um, before you even get into the presentation. Here we go over some of the highlights of 
what's to be expected in the presentation and like I said it's not a ton a ton a ton of information it's just a smattering of you know like a, a little taste just like the title is um, of Mexico just like um, the taste of Puerto Rico which I did which was another um, TPT product that I made. Um, I'm not sure if I made a video for it, but if I did, I'll link it. Um, so the Datos Importantes has a lot of information. The information, I did look it up in the textbook. The textbook which I have here, this is the textbook that I'm using. I'm not sure if there's like a newer version of the textbook, but the textbook that I have here is from like 2013 or something like that. Um, the cover is from 2010, but it's copyright 2013. So I did write that somewhere. Um, in my, I have another TPT product that goes in depth about Mexico. And so I did write that, that the, these, this data is as of 2013, which when you think about it, geez, that's almost 10 years ago. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so um, the when I looked up the statistics for the um, población, it's like much more now than it was then. Um, and so here are just some things. And it's like kind of cool because the textbook did keep it in Spanish. And so like you can keep it in Spanish too. And so um, sorry about that. And so the, the question, one of the questions that I asked the students was, what is the currency of Mexico? And so they'll have to say el peso o el dólar. Now, here's one thing. You might want to say el peso mexicano o el dólar americano um, because I think el dólar o el dólar um, is used in different countries. So you might want to be a little specific with the country that you're talking about. Um, and then here's another good one for just remembering colors. ¿Cuáles son los colores de la bandera mexicana? And so then the kids have to remember the colors, but they also have to remember gender because it's la bandera. Hey, right? Being a little sneaky with them, right? I know, I know. I'm one of those sneaky Spanish teachers. <laughs> so anyhow, so we've got that. Um, and then we've got another question, a geography question. Mexico shares borders with which countries? So they have to take a look at the map. And because in the textbook, it was Mexico shares a border with which country? And I read it and I was like, isn't there a country to the south that it shares with as well? <laughs> um, and it's, you know, we always are so like US centric, like United States centric, that we forget that, you know, Mexico has other borders. Mexico has other, you know, they have immigration, issues from other um, borders, like from Guatemala. Um, and I watched a video one time that said that the US actually pays a ton of money to um, fortify the borders, the border at Guatemala and Mexico in order to um, kind of help with um, or to prevent immigration through to the US. So it's super important that we know who Mexico borders with to the south and is Guatemala. So um, yes, so that is that. I thought that that was important for students to know. Um, I will see if I can find that Vox video. It was very good. Vox did a series of videos on borders. And so it was in that video that I had found that information out. I'll see if I can um, link that video here. 
All right, then um, we found out some information about San Miguel de Allende. And I did pear deckify, pear deckify um, this slide because um, I thought that maybe you could ask students what do they or where do they like to hang out in their hometowns? Because this is a place where people can hang out um, in Mexico. And so what, what is something that is similar in their hometowns that they can hang out? And then this is just, you know, just kind of going into detail that this is like the actual jardin um, that's in that town that people hang out in. You can catch live music there. And then I put a clip to Cielito Lindo, um, which is a traditional song that I go into detail in my TPT product, which I'll link below. Um, I have a TPT product which goes into much more detail about Mexico. Um, and it's like, I think like 20 pages all together. Um, and it just like digs a little deeper into Mexico and it gives more information, allows the students to take like virtual tours, things like that. Um, and I don't know how many, I'm like wondering how many days it would like take up for students to do. I guess it depends on how many like minutes you have in your class, but, um, I mean, it, I, it could probably take as long as you want it to take, you know, as long as you want it to take probably anywhere from a, a, a day to a week. It just depends on how quickly you want to get through it, you know. Um, but um, we have Cerrito Lindo, which is probably something that you would hear. And then I think my computer's going to play it. <laughs> trying to get to the next slide all right and then I also paired decified this slide and just asking students what do they see what do you see and then they have to describe what they see and um, then we describe in the slide what it is what it actually is that they're seeing um, that they're Mayan ruins and this freebie actually comes with the Teachers Pay Teachers product that I described before. It comes for free um, with the product and it can serve as like a nice little introduction to the Teachers Pay Teachers like product. We also, I think this is the last one, we talk about UNAM, the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. Um, and that is one of the oldest universities in the Americas. Um, and talk about the mosaic. And then last question, um, how does it compare to some of your local universities and colleges? Just aesthetics wise, like, you know, are your universities rocking mosaics too? <laughs> and then we have the end of the presentation and just a little thank you and my little note that the data was taken from the Avance Most from 2013. Um, also there is a little link to the blog and um, also pointing you to the resources that I was talking about before. And that's that. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this presentation um, that kind of dived into Mexico a little bit. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Un beso. Mwah. Ciao.